So as many of y'all, probably most of y'all know, the presidential debate was last night. And just in honor of that and in recognition of that debate, I do have on my biscuits and gravy 2024 shirt just to make sure that America is alerted to the importance of upholding the proper standards for cuisine in our communities across the United States. And with that said, we're going to keep doing our little part in that initiative and do something today that I'm pretty excited about because I'm going to eat something I've never had before. So let me tell you what happened. A friend of mine brought me these chips from the world market. They are a Chinese-inspired Lay's flavor, which is fried crab. So what I did to go along with trying these is something else I've never had, which is a dish from a restaurant that I have eaten at uh, quite a few times, but I've never had this. And this bag is super heavy. It seems like eight pounds, it feels like. Man, this thing is massive. I went on Google and I went on Yelp and I looked for the best Chinese restaurant in Florence. And I didn't really know what to expect to find for the most part. I'll talk about that here in a minute. But I ended up at Long Grain Cafe, and what I did was I got orange chicken and uh, fried rice. Comes with a spring roll, and you can see that right there. And this is a massive plate. This was like $13. It's a dollar to sub the fried rice in there. But yeah, I've never had this, so we're gonna try this together. Chinese food for me is an area in Florence that is interesting. Let me say it that way. So I'm gonna be honest, for me, it seems like the Chinese restaurants are all really pretty much the same. They're very similar. I know some people aren't gonna like that, but there's not a great degree of separation. There are some places over times I've had that was really not that great. But a lot of it's very similar. So traditionally, if I were to get Chinese food, then I would go to King's Light or Golden Dragon on Evans, crossing the post office, or Yummy Cuisine is a newer place on Celebration, which I've been a few times and was actually pleased. But again, recipe-wise, it's the same as any other place. It's just uh, they executed, they've executed really well, very consistently the times I've been over there. So I'll tell you right off the rip, this orange chicken... This is actually really good. Let's try this spring roll right here. Some of that white sauce. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, this tastes pretty fresh. It's a massive amount of food, which we're gonna talk about that here in a second. And it does not taste loaded down with like MSG. I can actually taste some herbs in there. It's not overly salty. The rice doesn't have an artificial feel or flavor to it or look to it. And they're actually pretty decent pieces of chicken. So yeah, I didn't know what to expect here. This is not bad. There's not really a big pop of that orange chicken flavor. Yeah, this is definitely a much more subtle dish. There's nothing overpowering in any, any flavor on it. But honestly, it works. Not bad. Not bad at all. So let me tell you what I found. And then I'll tell you a little bit more about long grain and we'll try these chips also. There were two restaurants that qualified with highest rating for Chinese restaurants in Florence from Google and Yelp. On Google, it was a tie, and you can see the long grain rating on your screen, but long grain had significantly more ratings. And that tie was between Long Grain Cafe and Magnolia Walk. Now we've featured Magnolia Walk in this video. And the reason that that's there and what's going on with Magnolia Walk is the ridiculous amount of food they give. But honestly, this is a lot too. It's not a Magnolia Walk amount, but this is a significantly sized portion also. Now in Yelp, which is notoriously more critical, the ratings on Yelp are notoriously more critical than that of Google. These were still the top two rated places, but Magnolia Walk had a higher rating, but they only had 22 ratings. And Long Grain had 80 something. I don't remember what it was, it was 80 something. So when you combine that with the fact that I really I already know what Magnolia Walk has going on, and we'll talk about that in a second, then I decided to go with long grain because they were basically equal on their rating. Now, here's what I'm gonna tell you is going on with these ratings. And because of this, this is gonna be something we're gonna have to circle back to at some point probably and rank Chinese restaurants in Florence, which is because of what I'm about to say. Magnolia Walk's rating 
is skewed towards portion size, which is tied to the fact that they went viral on TikTok. Got like 4 million views on a couple of videos, I think. I'm just gonna go on record and say this. Magnolia Wok is not the greatest Chinese food offering this in Florence. They give a big portion. It's a great value for the money. It's edible, but it's not the best thing there is out there. So if you want Chinese food, and you're local, unless it's a budget conscious thing, it's like a, it's a business decision, that's probably not what you're gonna do. Now, Long Grain's rating is also skewed though. The thing is, Long Grain has a diverse menu. And one of the things that makes Long Grain very popular, we talked about breakfast in a video last week, Long Grain does have a pretty good traditional American breakfast offering. It's a very popular breakfast place on that side of town. A lot of that rating they've got going on, I suspect, is also because of their breakfast offer. And then they do different stuff at lunch also. So it's not just a Chinese restaurant. They do a lot of different things. In fact, their Asian inspired menu offering is actually pretty small. Uh, and you can see it on your screen. It's, it's not as, it's certainly not as big as the other Chinese restaurants in town. So for those two reasons, I would say this is skewed a bit. However, that should not detract from what they do offer. And I'm gonna give my final thoughts on this here in a minute. And it's positive, this, this is really good. But, so for those reasons, I would say that we need to eliminate Magnolia Walk and Long Grain Cafe in our future search for Chinese food in Florence. Just because there's surrounding context with both of those places, it actually skews that. So maybe I'll do this again, see what the highest rated place is in Florence, not counting these two restaurants. With that being said though, this is really good. I'm, I'm definitely going to be an advocate of this. I've never had this. So this is a 100% live reaction to this and I'm not disappointed. I'd say too, with the amount of food, you could split this with two people for 14 bucks and come out pretty well. This tastes much more homemade and just natural than what you get at a lot of places um, in the Chinese restaurants locally. So I'm in support of that orange chicken at Long Grain. And I'm sure that the beef and broccoli and the other items on that menu from what I had there are pretty good too. Honestly, every time I've been to Long Grain, I've had their chicken wings, which a lot of people like, which are pretty good. But I usually, I usually am there for breakfast items. These are fried crab flavored chips. So let's talk about this for a second. A couple things that I noticed before I open these. One, this top part of the trim on the bag feels thicker. And the bag feels much fuller than American chips. I mean, it really does. It's, so just saying, that's just an observation. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. That is definitely crabby. So, okay. Man, that's crazy. So one chip that I've liked since I was in like high school, a friend of mine turned me on to him, the crab chip that Oots makes. When you get the crab chip, all it is is really Old Bay seasoning. That's, that's what the chip tastes like. It's really good. This is not that. This literally tastes like crab, 100%. That's crazy. I mean, they're starting to grow on me a little bit now. The first one was almost too seafoody. Wow. I mean, yeah. This tastes more like crab than the imitation crab that you get on sushi at the Japanese restaurants, literally. This tastes more like crab than that does. 100%. Would I eat these anymore after today? No, probably not. But it's weird though, because I mean, I do like crab legs, like I'll, I'll eat crab, not to the point to where I would go out and seek out more of these. All right, let me give you a couple closing thoughts real quick, and then we'll wrap this one up. For one, I feel like Chinese food in Florence is just average. It's not something that's horrible. I don't have all kind of negative things to say about it, but there's really nothing, there's nothing outstanding to point to. The Chinese restaurants really seem to be a dime a dozen to me. Again, people have their preferences. For me, uh, yummy cuisine on Celebration, Golden Dragon, across from the post office would be my go-tos, but it's not like the degree of separation is that much to me from Little China on Second Loop or, you know, insert name of whatever place you go to. And I can honestly say that's that's one of the areas, and I'm sure there are, there are many, but that's one area in my life where I haven't had a lot of exposure to to much outside of here. Reason being, when I've traveled to other places, and I really didn't think about it until I was prepared to do this video, for whatever reason, I've literally never thought 
to get Chinese food. So if I'm out of town in some of these bigger markets, I haven't. Now, what I will do is the next time I'm in one of these bigger markets, that's something I'm going to try to seek out. But I know there are some really good Chinese restaurants out there. So that's something I'm going to have to do. Oh, uh, I didn't mention Red Bull. I actually like the um, the the uh, the egg rolls at Red Bull. I actually like those a lot. I don't know what y'all think about those. Red Bull, Red Bull is not bad. They do different stuff though. They mix up their cuisine a few different ways. I actually like the um, the red curry over there too. That's one of my go-tos at Red Bull. Now, last thing I want to say, veering off the course a little bit, but I was kind of critical on these guys in a previous video a couple weeks ago. And I just want to be fair. It's been a crazy last week would work for me. And then just the schedules in my home and all the stuff going on that making dinner at home has been something we have not done a whole lot of over the last couple weeks, really. So last night, for the sake of convenience, my wife and I couldn't, we couldn't come to agreement on anything. <laughs> you know, go figure. You know how that goes. And it was mostly me for the record. It wasn't her. But uh, she was like, well, look, I just want Chipotle. And I, did, I didn't want Chipotle. I just was like, I don't, I don't really want that tonight. So I was like, just plan to put your order in. I'll go get something different. And then I'll swing by there on the way back and grab yours and bring it home. And when I was about to go out the door, she was looking at the menu on the app. She said, you know, they got the brisket back. And my ears perked up. And I was like, well, that changes things. And I made this post in the Florence Foodies Facebook group. But uh, I'll say it again here. That was really good last night. That brisket, whatever sauce that is that they're making that in, however they're doing it. It was really good. The only thing I will say is, again, the portion size on the meat was less than I would have wanted. I'm not saying that as a knock on them. What I am saying it to you as a piece of advice, I think moving forward, I'm just going to ask for extra meat. I don't remember what the cost is to do that. I've never done that in the past, but it's gotten to a point now to where I'm like, you know, if I'm going to go here, I want to enjoy it. And the, the meat to rice ratio is so off. And I don't want that to be corrected by less rice because then the, it, it's going to feel like it's overpriced, you know. You may want to get extra meat. It wasn't a super small portion. It was probably fine. I just would like a little bit more than what I got. So I'm just telling you that just so you're not possibly disappointed, give you something to consider. But that's just a personal thing. That's what any place you go. You may sometimes need to have some add-ons to what you're ordering. So that's up to you. But I will say that it was really good, though. It really was good. I'll say these are interesting. They absolutely taste like that picture. But to say that Long Grain is the best Chinese restaurant in Florence, you can't say that because their menu doesn't compete with a lot of the other Chinese restaurants in Florence. So good restaurant, good product right there. But I can't say that for those reasons. And Magnolia Walk, I just would not say that about personally. You may feel different. Uh, portion size, sure. Nobody's giving out portion sizes like them. But best food, no, I wouldn't say so personally. So with that being said, I'll add that to the list. That'll be something that we'll start explore, put us together a little spreadsheet and try to find out who's got the best Chinese food in Florence. If you already have an opinion on that, Drop it down in the comments, give some suggestions, but we'll probably start with the highest rated place on Google and Yelp and work our way down from there. With that being said, I'm going to take the rest of this home. I'm probably going to give the rest of these away. I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.